What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. It's time to update your Samsung Galaxy S25 series. Looks like the May update is early here in India and in many more countries. I think the US region already got the update a couple of days ago. Now here in India, I have just received the update. You guys can check it whether you have received it or not. All you need to do is just go to the settings, tap on software update and tap on download and install and here we go we have got the update sitting right here and it looks like the size is slightly bigger than usual because this may be bringing some important fixes with respect to the one ui 7. the version number ends with ayda and the security patch level is for 1st May 2025, 693.46 MB, which is pretty big. Now in the change log, we don't see any new features being mentioned here. It says security of the device has been improved, device stability improvements and bug fixes, which are the usual points we see on the change log here. Now what we are gonna do is we are gonna update the phone and then come back and see how the phone is performing and also check if there is any update available for the system applications and Google Play system as well. Now let's go ahead, let me tap on update. This is seamless update, so it's gonna uh, download the update and install it while the phone is on. So let's wait for a few minutes. I think this is gonna be pretty quick. I will come back to you guys in a bit. All right, now the phone has been updated, it is restarted. Now let's go ahead and check if there is any new update for the GoodLock modules. Let me open the GoodLock application here. Nope, I don't see any new updates here for any of the GoodLock modules. Now let's go to the Galaxy Store and check if there's any new update for the applications. No, we just have an update for Galaxy Buds 3 Manager. Other, other than this, we do not see any new update for any of the Samsung system applications. Now let's go ahead and check if we have the latest Google Play system update. Let's go to the security and privacy settings and tap on updates. And we have got the latest update, which, is, which was for April 2025. Let me go ahead and tap on this and let's see if there is anything new here. Yep, we have a small update here, which is 12 MB. I think this will stay with the April update itself. Maybe this is an incremental update for after the April update. This may not be May update, but I will go ahead and download and install this and restart the phone and come back to you guys and let you know what update is this all about. Let me restart it now. All right, now the phone is restarted. Let's go ahead and check the Google Play system update again. Let me tap on security and privacy and tap on updates. Yeah, here we go. It's still April Google Play system update. It is not the May update. Obviously, you know, we generally don't get the current month's update on the Galaxy phones. I'm talking about the Google Play system update. We usually get the previous month's update, which is April month update, which we currently have. So let's wait for the May update. I will keep you guys posted. Now the phone has been updated. Everything is up to date. Now let's go ahead and open a few applications and let's see how uh, stable the UI is in terms of animations and opening the application etc let's go ahead let's start with my files looks fine let me go to the recent application no stutters or lags here let me open the quick panel here notification panel Looks fine. So there is no lag or stutter I have observed on the device so far. Uh, looks like the device is running fine. All right, now there is one more thing which I wanted to mention in this video that is about the S Pen. I recently broke the S Pen. If you remember, I did post about this on the YouTube as well as on X. Uh, now this is still broken and I haven't replaced this yet. I did check with the uh, Samsung store. They said I'll have to bring the phone and bring the S Pen. Uh, probably they'll have to uh, take down the serial number of the phone and then order the S Pen which will work with this phone. And they said this may cost somewhere around a four to 5K, 5K INR, which is approximately 50 to 60 US dollars, which is pretty expensive for the S Pen. And that's really unfortunate. I didn't really break, break this deliberately or it did not break inside the phone. I kept the S Pen on the sofa and uh, you know my wife just casually sat on the sofa and <laughs> she found this broken on the sofa. So that was the reason this was broken. And I will have to replace this probably in a couple of days 
I will let you know guys once I replace it how much did it actually cost me. I did check this on the uh, internet. I did check the S Pen for the S25 series on Samsung website, Samsung app. I don't really find the S Pen there and I don't think we can directly order it. We will probably have to check the serial number of the phone also and then order the S Pen. That is what the Samsung store said. So let me go ahead and check with them and get back to you guys and let you know uh, once I uh, replace this S Pen probably in the next few days. And one more thing is we can't use the S Pen from any other phone. The other S Pens do work but we can't really fit in those S Pens from the S24 Ultra or S23 Ultra or S22 Ultra into the uh, S Pen slot here on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. It will not fit in. It will only work when you use it on the screen but it will not sit inside the S Pen slot. So that was the issue so I really have to uh, order a new one. Anyways, this is the latest update for you guys. If you have got the update on the Galaxy S25 series do let me know in the comment section and uh, if you notice any new changes or new features do drop a comment i will also explore if there is anything new i will keep you guys posted that's about it that's all i want to share with you guys i hope you already subscribed to the channel give this video a like and do not forget to download our wallpaper application wallverse i will add a few more new wallpapers today so stay tuned and stay subscribed thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe i will see you in the next one soon cheers bye bye